England's hopes of making up for the time lost to rain on day one suffered an early blow as they lost Alistair Cook to just the fifth ball of the morning. Ishant Sharma, who's been arguably India's best bowler in the test so far, removing the opener for 34. That brought Ian Bell to the crease and he began in confident style on his way to reaching lunch on 29 not out. But generally, the runs weren't flowing for England at this stage, and especially for skipper Andrew Strauss. And after only managing to make two runs in over an hour's play, he tried to cut loose, but only managed to edge Shreesanth behind for 40. Kevin Peterson scored a lot more briskly once he entered the fray, with four boundaries among his unbeaten knock of 18. But he did have a scare from the final ball before lunch as he was almost caught down the leg side. But with uncertainty in the field over whether the ball had carried and replays proving inconclusive, he was given the benefit of the doubt. Nevertheless, it was a good session for India. The tourists taking two wickets and conceding just 51 runs with England 126 for two at lunch. After finding scoring tough in the first session, England were much more effective with the bat after lunch. Ian Bell swatting a series of boundaries to confidently move past 50. While Kevin Peterson also had his eye in with nine fours in his 62 ball half century and after the run rate had been down as low as two and a half and over before lunch, it was now up to around the six mark. With Prime Minister David Cameron watching on, Bell reached T with a small majority over his batting partner as he pushed on to his 16th test century and his fourth of the summer in fittingly fine style a few overs before the interval. Peterson reaching the break on 98 not out. A much better session for England, 170 runs scored with barely a chance offered to India, which leaves the hosts on 296 for two at tea. <laughs> Resuming on 98 not out at the start of the final session, Kevin Peterson was obviously in a hurry to bring up his 19th test century going on the attack from just the first ball after tee to reach three figures from just 148 balls. There was more excitement the very next delivery as well. This time Peterson didn't get quite enough on his shot, but Gambier couldn't cling on to the chance. It was a drop that was to prove very costly for India as Peterson marched imperiously past the 150 mark. And ominously for the tourists, his partner at the crease passed the same landmark not long after, with Ian Bell also firmly in the groove. The pair were really turning the screw on the tourists in the South London sunshine as they put on the highest ever English partnership against India, with Peterson going through his entertaining repertoire of strokes and Bell smashing successive sixes. But with their stand on a massive 350, Peterson perished shortly before the close when Rayner neatly took a return catch of his own bowling to remove him for 175. Bell was still there at stumps though on an unbeaten 181 with England firmly in charge on 457 for three.